Hey everyone, Scoop Scientist here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make some rheoscopic fluid. So let's do it. So really there are two main ingredients for rheoscopic fluid. One thing is this bottle of water. Um, you need to leave a little bit of room just for the second ingredient, which is mica powder. I just bought this off Amazon. I will have a couple of links in the description down below uh, so you can get this yourself. You can also find mica powder in like cosmetics and whatnot and makeup, that kind of thing. Um, otherwise, you know, Amazon, the internet is a good place to buy it. Uh, I bought this nice uh, turquoise color. Just thought it was a cool color. Um, but yeah, let's make this. So I fashioned a little funnel here out of paper there just to help me get this into the bottle easier. Um, but yeah, so you don't need much at all in much of this stuff. So I could make heaps of bottles out of the uh, small amount of powder I've got here. So I'll just start with that much. Okay, I'm gonna put the lid on now and start mixing this around. You can see it's on my hands and everything here. This stuff's like really glittery, this this uh, this type at least, and it really sticks to your hands quite well. Here we go. So really, making rheoscopic fluid is quite easy, as you can tell. All you need is just two ingredients, and uh, you got this awesome little bottle here. And now, what does rheoscopic actually mean? Basically, rheoscopic means to show current. Um, you can make it not just out of mica powder. Just um, the, the reason why I use this, it's one of the most common um, ingredients for it that I found when uh, searching how to make this stuff. Um, it's, it's like a really microscopic crystalline um, particle and so things like um, actually fish flakes and metallic powder and other things like that can actually work as well as mica powder here. Well that just about does it for this video again if you do want to purchase some of this um, mica powder here there will be some links in the description um, but otherwise you know a nice simple short video on how to make rheoscopic fluid and if you did enjoy this video then please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing but until then I'll see you next time.